the story that I think I was actually, I don't know if I was excited is the right word to talk about it, but definitely interested uh, to talk about is the story of an NAIA head coach who was terminated, fired, dismissed, kaput, uh, shortly after interviewing for a Division II opening. And I'm reading some some blurbs from the, the Football Scoop article here, but uh, the basic gist of this, and we talked about it last week on the episode, New Mexico Highlands, they do their interview process. As part of the interview process, they have a public forum where there are three uh, identified three finalists, the committee did. They brought the three finalists in, and they did individual respective public forums with each finalist, right, individually. They came in, the public was available to come and attend, and they could also tune in via Zoom. We talk, it's just kind of interesting. We don't haven't really seen that too much in college athletics. For them to do that was kind of neat. Uh, we'll see if that shakes up anything. But one of these three finalists, Darren Jackson, he was uh, the head coach at Sterling College, it looks like. He was one of the three finalists that came in for this public forum. And um, as he said, he was very transparent with his institution and letting them know that he would be interviewing uh, for this job. And if, if you've been around college athletics in almost any capacity, especially at these levels, especially in the sport of football, where you're, everything is so result driven and you have guys that are trying to make those steps up the ladder and, and jump to a different level, which for him would have been a big jump to a division two squad. And you would know that it's not uncommon at all for these coaches to interview for other jobs, right? As someone who I've served on a search committee for a, head, a new head coach, and you see a lot of guys that are current sitting coaches, sometimes that's successful programs, right? That happens more often than you think. It, it could depend on so many different factors and things in their life, whether it's football or outside of football, right? And family and other deals. So he goes, he has an existing head coaching job, but he interviews for the head coaching job at New Mexico Highlands. Uh, he was just informed by the administration at Sterling today that he was being terminated. Because I, would, I don't know if they came out right and said, hey, this is why, but you put apples to apples, right? You know, two plus two is four. Like, <laughs> that's why. Right? That's why they're getting rid of him because he openly interviewed for this. Now, this is the statement from Coach that he posted. Coach Jackson posted this on Twitter as uh, his announcement to, I think, the greater football community. He says here, I'll read for you guys listening. Hi, everyone. I wanted to take a moment to reach out and inform you that 15 days ago, I interviewed for the head coaching position at a D2 school in New Mexico. Immediately following this process, the administration here at Sterling College decided to terminate me from my position as head coach effective immediately. Throughout this interview process and my return to Sterling, I made it adamantly clear to the administration that I was not turning my back on Sterling and was going to hear out the opportunity presented before me. I hope you understand interviewing is commonplace in this profession, and I owed my family the due diligence of interviewing. Players, I have striven uh, to help grow you into the men that you were designed to be. I wish you all the best. You have my number if you need anything in the future. Thanks for the opportunity to coach you. It was a privilege. Signed, Darren Jackson. Man, like that, that hurts a little bit, a lot of bit. And I think it's something that it's easy for me to play like what he called armchair quarterback and just and like throw stones at a, I don't know what the hell the expression is, but like basically what I'm saying to be so detached and not, under, you know, be there. But with the information we do have available to us, what a shitty move. Like what? Just there's, I wish there was a, I had a more politically correct way to say that, but what a shitty move on their part. This guy who at least, Claims, and I'm going to take his word for it, was very transparent throughout that entire process. It's not like he came into the office one day and blindsided his administration by saying, hey, I might take this other job, by the way. Right? He goes through this process admirably and amicably, I think is the better word choice there, and goes about it the right way and is rewarded by saying, hey, pal, you no longer got a job here. Get lost. Which, by the way, he also did not get the position at New Mexico Highlands. That job went to Kurt Tofasau, um, who... Again, a very deserving coach in his own right. But I just wanted to, I'd be curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. Like, if you comment down on, on this video or, you know, wherever you're listening to the podcast, DM us on, on the on the socials. But what do we think here? I, I think for me, it's just scummy. Like, this just does not feel right. From, a, from someone who works in college athletics right now, this is brutal. You have a guy that, you know, I, I have no idea what his record was at Sterling. Was this something where maybe they had some past issue and they were just waiting for a potential reason to get rid of this guy? I don't know. I'm not an internet sleuth. I don't, I don't really go through and look at those things. I'm not in the building. But for me as an outsider to look at this, and you have, as an administration, I feel like you have some kind of duty and some kind of due diligence. I mean, to like to 
just kind of respect the wishes of your staff. And this is something that happens so often. And football is not the only sport affected by this. A lot of coaches, they're, they're people too, and they have to go out and look for the best uh, opportunities available for themselves, whether that's at your school or not. I think you owe them that much respect. And so for me, that was kind of ridiculous. I did not like that one bit.